This video is going to cover day five and six. Uh, day five was a Saturday. It was kind of a day off for us. We didn't have anything planned, so we all got up and went to breakfast. Had a nice little breakfast here. Got mimosa. Really nice place to go to. Then a few of us decided to go back to the truck stop. They were having a uh, farmer's market there. It was really nice. Had a lot of handcrafted things and stuff like that. And Ellen ended up buying a uh, nice little bracelet. Well, after the truck stop, we went back to Pure, our place where we were staying. The girls got their bathing suits on and hung out at the pool for a little bit and got some drinks. And then Kathy, Randy, and Ellen and I decided to go to AJ's, which is their sister restaurant of Pure. Really nice place. Beautiful day to be there. Sit out there by the water. Had a great time there. Took a few pictures and headed back to Pure to get ready for dinner. We decided to go to a place called The Garage. It's a seafood and steakhouse. Really nice place. Had a great dinner. It was a beautiful sunset. And that's it for the day. So Randy has set up this little fishing trip we're going to do. We're leaving in the golf carts and we're going to drive from Pure all the way up. It's only 12 miles to get there, but 12 miles is going to take us an hour and 45 minutes. And if you look at the little dotted line right there, that last little bit is the hardest. It's, it's where the road ends. So if you look ahead, you'll see the sign there, and it says Secret Beach, turn to the left. If you watched our last video, that's what we did. This time we're turning to the right. This is where the road is no longer paved. Well, we've stopped real quick here at this pier, and we're actually looking for bait. So if they find anything, just gonna throw a net out there looking for some small fish to catch. Didn't see any. Well, so far the road hasn't been that bad yet, but we haven't got to the tough stuff yet. Well, the road is starting to get a little more overgrown and you can tell it's less traveled. Okay, the road's starting to get a little too rough, so I decided to, I'd just better to get out and walk behind them. Well, we finally made it to the area that they're gonna fish, so not much snorkeling here for me, so I'm just going to watch him and do some videotaping and maybe check out some of the water pools. Well, I'm a little mad at myself. John is actually standing on some pretty slippery rocks, and I had the camera turned off, and he said, I'm going to fall and break my butt, and bigger than crap... <laughs> He went down into the water. So these are some of the water pools I was talking about earlier. I'd actually found some snails and I'd broken one up, got the snail out of the shell and fed it to these fish in this little water pool there. Here's a, what's left of a skeleton of a crab but if you look look at the landscape man if you may if you slip and fall here you're gonna cut yourself pretty good well we got back into the golf carts and went down to the next spot but it's time to snorkel this time well John and I are the only ones snorkeling while they're fishing in another area 
So he's got the spear just in case we find anything. Well, I've only been in the water maybe for about 15 minutes at the most and I came upon this rock, it's hollow, and I thought I saw something green in there. So I kind of backed off a little bit and looked inside and bigger than shit, it's a green moray eel. So I decided to back away from him a little bit and see if I can get him to come out a little farther so we can see really how big he is. Seems to be about three feet. Got a little aggressive and I decided that eh, this is his house. I'm just going to leave him alone. So I move up maybe 15 feet and I look over and there's a spotted moray eel hiding underneath this rock. Now it's this one's much smaller. Well, I thought I'd lost John. I look around and there he is. He's caught back up to me. Well, as you can see, the water's only about two and a half, three feet deep at the most. And I'm just kind of swimming along here and I look over and do you see it? That is a lobster underneath there. So I get on top of the water here. I'm kind of looking for John to see if he's got the spear anywhere near. I don't see him and I thought, well, I'm gonna go down and take a look at this thing. I was kind of putting the camera in there next to him to try to get him to come out a little bit so I could see how big he was. Uh, he finally came out a little bit and I showed the guys later and they said we both got lucky. I got lucky to see the lobster and the lobster got lucky that I didn't have the spear with me. Well, that's it for the snorkeling. Um, the spot that we're at is pretty popular, so about four or five more carts showed up. One of the guy had some conch in there, so he shared that with us, and we had caught a couple of fish, so he's making some ceviche for us. Yeah, if they stop back for a beer, I'll hang out with them for a little bit. You know, and I will too, it depends on how long we, because it's only going to take me 10, 15 minutes to get yeah. ready. Okay, it'll work out. Yeah. It'll all work out. Yeah. yeah. Turtle. Turtle. Oh, turtle. Wait, it's named eggs. <laughs> hmm. What turtle. is that? Just a land turtle? Yeah. Yeah. Little box turtle. That's a big box turtle compared to ours. The our box turtles are small. Small. Yeah, they're smaller. Damn, mosquitoes. Mosquitoes Wait, don't bite you. Wait. Mm -hmm. 
Well, we're headed back now, and we left about quarter to five. We're trying to get back in time to get ready to go to a dinner reservation at 7.30. Well, sun sets about 6.35 tonight, and we're, it's about quarter after six now, so we should make it back by 6.30, because we have dinner reservations at AJ's tonight. They set a nice table up for us. We can all join all eight of us. We had a really nice dinner. It was anywhere about this place. They had a dog that liked to play with uh, coconut shells. She could throw the coconut shell and he would go after it. And then we went to Crocs later and had this sign up there about crocodiles. And here's the reason they had that sign up there. I actually saw one in the water there. And that was it for the day.